if you're ready to decorate for fall, you want to use neutral colors, you want to decorate minimally, and you want to do it on a budget, then this video is for you. Today I'm going to show you how I decorate for fall in subtle ways around the high traffic areas of my house. So here's a quick look at our living room. This is obviously a high traffic area that I am going to be decorating in today's video. I already started to take down some of the decor off of the shelves and I'm going to take everything else down and put it all on the table. Years ago when decorating for fall, I would always get really tired of seeing my fall decor after a short period of time and I always used to think that I just didn't like fall decor or I just didn't like to decorate for fall and back then I was buying a lot of your traditional fall decor and using a lot of traditional fall colors throughout the house and I've never been a fan of red and orange anyway so I started to buy more neutral and just seasonal decor that actually goes with the everyday decor in my house and I find that I love it for a longer period of time. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Target are some of my favorite places to shop for seasonal decor. I'm going to show you guys more of an up-close look at everything as I decorate throughout the video. And I'll also try to remember the prices of everything. If I can't remember exactly how much I paid for something, I'll at least tell you if I got a discount on it and what the discount was. So I picked up a lot of dry florals this year along with some new faux florals that I'm going to show you guys. And here is pretty much everything that I'm going to be using throughout the high traffic areas of the house. I did go back the next day and pick up some more things and I'll show you guys that towards the end of this video. So we're going to start decorating in the entryway and this is going to be the easiest area just because I'm only going to be decorating this little table right here. I'm going to take this olive tree and put it in my room. I don't put away my actual decor that I use every day or throughout the year. I just move it to a new location. It kind of gives that area a whole new look and I'm going to replace it with this jug that I thrifted while we were in North Carolina this past summer. I love this thing and I'm just going to add my new faux florals in here. These are probably one of my favorite faux florals that I've ever purchased. I love how they look. I love the color of them. These can definitely be used year round and I love anything that I can use year round. I'm gonna fold the stems just in case I wanna put these in a taller vase later on. I did find that it was a little scarce so I ended up getting a couple of my eucalyptus stems that I already had and adding that in just to make it a little bit more full. Next, I'm going to take this black bowl and these pumpkins and put those on the entryway table. This black bowl was already on my table and I'm just going to get these pumpkins that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I think they were about $9.99 but they were 40% off and I actually think all of Hobby Lobby's fall decor is 40% off. So go to Hobby Lobby if you're looking for some good deals. I'm just going to put these pumpkins in here and that's it for this table. Less is more. I'm moving the olive tree that was in my entryway to my bedroom and I really love how it looks in here. I might have to keep it here for a longer period of time. And the tree that was in my bedroom, I'm going to move that to the living room just because with the olive tree I feel like it was a little too much in my room and I actually love this tree in here. Starting in the living room, I'm going to take these burlap pumpkins and find a home for them in here. I've had these for years, I don't know where I bought them. 
and I'm gonna take this dough bowl and these really pretty faux florals that I just picked up from Target for $5 each. I couldn't pass up these. These are probably my only traditional fall colors that I'm gonna have in the house, but I love them. I don't like how they look in a vase, so I'm gonna try them out in this dough bowl and I actually really love how it turned out. So I already had these two vases that I'm going to be showing you guys. The brown one is from Home Goods, and this gray one I got from Magnolia Market in Waco when I went to visit the silos. And I'm just going to place them beside my dough bowl. I ended up moving the brown vase to another shelf, and I replaced it with this little white pumpkin. Just to get you off my mind, it's either yes or it's no. So pillows can be super expensive, especially if you're looking for some pillows for a large couch like ours. I've been looking all over for the right pillows for my couch. I have a certain look that I'm going for. And when I saw these at Target, I went ahead and picked them up. Definitely still on the lookout for some more pillows for my couch, but those are the three that I chose. These are not gonna be just for the season. These are probably gonna stay up here year round and I'll just move them around as the year goes on. Guessing your words, cause you choke now I'm gonna start on my dry floral arrangement. I picked up this face from Hobby Lobby for $17.99. It was on clearance and they had a bunch of them. So check your local Hobby Lobby if you like this look. The dry florals also came from Hobby Lobby. The florals you see here range from $7.99 all the way up to $12.99 and it was all half off. Somebody ought to come along and let you down So you could see my side and how it feels to hit the ground How can you say that Next, I'm gonna take one of my favorite vessels and I got this from Target months and months ago. They might still have it online. If I can find it, I'll link it down below, but it's this really pretty textured vessel and I'm gonna put these little bunny tails in there. I'm not sure the real name for these, but these are also some dried florals that I picked up from Michaels and they were $9.99. I'm gonna cut the stems to make them a little bit shorter because I want just the little tails to be sticking out of the vessel. I think out of all the little arrangements that I put together, this is one of my favorites. Somebody said it should be easy to forgive. We all make mistakes and no one lives without sin. But why'd you have to break my heart? I wasn't ready to let you go yet. Now you're standing at my door thinking that I'm 
So I planned on putting this right here under the TV, but you'll see in a second that I actually moved it to the shelving. You should have never let me go. Hope somebody will break your heart. So you could feel this pain and know what it's like to be left out in the cold. Standing by yourself, no one to hold. If you still wanted to be loved, you should have never let me. These amber containers are new from Target for $25 and $15 and I picked them up because I know I can use these year round and just change out the florals seasonally. I thought I wanted to put these dry florals in the containers but or the vase but I didn't end up liking them so I put some eucalyptus in there and I put them on this tray that I already had along with a candle. But if you wanted to be loved. This came from the Target dollar spot for three or five dollars. I have been looking for something similar to this, but they always cost so much more. So when I saw this, I had to pick it up. And right now it's gonna be in my kitchen. Standing by yourself, no one at home. If you still wanted to be loved, you should have never let me. So I had this centerpiece for years now. It's one of the few things that I actually kept from my fall stuff that I got rid of, but I didn't like how it looked up against the table. So I moved this one to the upstairs living room and I picked up this vase from Target today and I love it. It's $25 and I love the color and the overall shape. I love the wide opening at the top. And since I was out, I headed over to Michael's and I found these florals in a really pretty cream color and I just love how it turned out. So now I'm going to show you some new things that I picked up the next day that wasn't at the beginning of this video. Starting with this throw blanket from Target. I love it. It's going to be all over my house this season. It's just the right size and coziness. It was only $20 and it's by Threshold. This is a blanket we already had. This also moves around our house all the time. And right now, I'm just gonna put it in this basket beside our TV. Here's that centerpiece that I moved to the upstairs living room and I do like it up here a lot more. It's right behind our sectional on this little sofa table and right next to it I put this shiny like silver pumpkin. I didn't show you guys earlier but this is also something that I've had for a long time. These aren't considered fall, but I thought I would show you guys anyway because I got these on a great deal. These are from Target. These are originally $10, but they are actually on sale this week for $6. So I picked two of them up and I thought it would go perfect in the upstairs living room. And I couldn't not share this with you guys, but I got this at Target when I found those bins. And this was on clearance for $18. It's originally $60. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, but I knew it kind of goes with my decor. So I couldn't leave it at the store. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.